We just got here to Laurel Creek Campground, and this has been our favorite spot so far. Total waterfront access. We're the only people here. We're gonna go uh, explore, get on the paddleboard, go check out some of the islands and a few of the coves around here. You can see the peninsula that sticks out there and that's what I was filming from the campsite. It was a really cool spot to stay and uh, we were able to hike around a lot, do a lot of exploring and as you could see in the previous shot, do a ton of swimming. We're a few days into camping now and uh, gone through some of the water so I decided to refill the water tank off of our spare jug, five gallon jug. And this is just off of a single hose, no pump, so I just did the siphon. So I had that above where we're sticking in uh, the water here, so just doing a gravity fill. Just finished up our time at Laurel Creek Wreck Area and are heading out. Uh, it is a five mile dirt road all the way out of here. And we hope it's dried a little bit since the rain. You can see the drive in how nasty it got. After we ran out of resources in Laurel Creek, we went up to Daisy and went to their state park campground for $25 a night. Okay, we just made it up to the Daisy State Park campground, and this is a really, really nice campground. Um, I've got a super clean bathhouse, both the bathrooms and the showers, and then each campsite is extremely level. We uh, browsed several of them and all of them were very level, didn't have anything to complain about. Here's our spot. We got a really nice view with this uh, kind of balcony railing and deck here. See everybody's found a comfy spot. One thing about this campground is that it's 23 bucks a night and you've got water at your site, of course electric. Now there's no sewage but it's nice to be able to have the city water connection plugged in. So when I'm running the outdoor shower uh, you can essentially run it for as long as you want since you don't have to fill it up in your gray tank and fresh water coming in right at the site. I think for 23 bucks, this is a pretty good spot. Some folks were asking how we do our research for uh, finding spots that are free or cheap. And what we use mainly is Campendium, which is uh, an online website. You just punch in the area that you want to um, go to. So for us, we can take a look at uh, like the Dallas Fort Worth area and what you do is you go through and you put in your price your filters uh, what you need what you're looking for and it will come up with the results so for right now these are all the spots that are under about 35 36 bucks a night and so we were uh, looking to come into Fort Worth some, somewhere and wanted to be able to unhook and drive into the city. So we're looking for a campground that uh, is probably private, has maybe a gate to it that's paid. So here's one, Silver Creek, five stars. 
So I will go ahead and do some more research on that, see how far away that is from Fort Worth and so on and so forth. And then from there, I will plug it into my iPad, which has our navigation system in it. So here is uh, the iPad you guys might remember from some of the sailing videos. Uh, what I have on here is this app called maps.me. You can see it's down there. There it is on the top right. So it's a little green box with a suitcase, maps.me. What this is, is this is a, an offline map uh, and routing application. It's totally free. So you can download it, and uh, what it does is it'll download a rough outline of the map, and then you zoom into the spots that you want to go to. So like for us right now, we are on Lake Greeson. Earlier in the video, you guys saw Laurel Creek, which is this one right there in front of my finger. Now we're up towards Daisy in the State Park. When you zoom into a certain area, it will ask you to download it. Uh, so like the very specifics, we'll just go up to uh, an area up here. So when you get to uh, more so than just like a rough estimate or outline of it, it will say uh, go ahead and download the map. And that will give you all of the itty bitty roads and everything in between. And so since it's downloaded, it's all offline material. And so when we were up in this area and even over here a lot, there's absolutely no service. And so being able to have an offline downloaded map that really, you know, gets into the nitty gritties. You know, here's Laurel Creek and all the tiny little access roads and topography changes inside of that. Since this is all free and it's offline, you can just uh, click a spot to go to. So today we are going down to Jackson Creek. Jackson Park. I've selected that and just click Route 2. So this will give you a turn-by-turn -turn direction to get out of here and to get over to there and no matter what if any of the service breaks up inside of here um, we'll still have all of the map and all of the directions I've downloaded all of the itty bitties and all the details for the route in between and so the data is good to go and offline and now we have a connection point to our next stop 